Hey guys, it's Jason Leonard here, and I wanted to talk to you guys about a, a topic that's not as sexy as cameras or lenses, you know, all the cool bokeh and everything that we do, but honestly, it's a question I get a lot, and uh, people just want to know about batteries. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. I've used them for my website for years. It's awesome for photographers. It works great. Do blogs or whatever else you need to, so go to squarespace.com slash Lanier to save 10% off your order and start your website today. For any of you guys that have followed me for any length of time or been to any of my workshops or any of my presentations, you'll know that I'm a big believer in rechargeable batteries. I'm going to share a quick story with you guys as to when I first started out. I was a brand new photographer and I hadn't even shot my own wedding and I went to a workshop with David J at Brooks Institute. Just after the workshop was over, I went up to him and asked him, could I ever shoot a wedding with you? And he was super cool and said yes. And so uh, it was a week later that I was shooting a wedding with him. I went and he said, hey, you, you cover the, uh, the grand entrance. Now, I didn't know it, but he was covering it from a different angle, but I thought it was all on me. And as the bride and groom walked into the reception hall, um, I did something to bump my flash. The compartment door that held the batteries into the flash popped open and my four double A's burst all over the floor and I'm sitting there scrambling, feeling like the world is watching me as I'm screwing up majorly. And... Uh, <laughs> David came over and just gave me that look like, okay, you're a rookie. He looked at the batteries and said, you may want to get better batteries if you're going to do this for a living. Because I had some cheap, you know, alkaline batteries at the time. And that story always stuck with me. And so I started looking for batteries. And then I thought, well, you know, I don't, I don't know if I need better batteries. And I started going to weddings when I started shooting on my own and, and putting them into the flash. And I noticed that they would burn out super quick and they would get really hot. And at the time, I had heard that rechargeable batteries sucked. And that, you know, because they had memory, now this is 10 years ago, but they had memory. In other words, if you didn't fully discharge them before charging them again, then it would cause problems and they would lose their life, so on and so forth. And my experience with rechargeable batteries at the time was, honestly, they sucked. They, they didn't hold the charge for a long time. They weren't very good, so I didn't even consider them. And so I'm like, well, geez, what am I gonna do? I mean. I'm spending lots of money on these batteries and worse yet, the batteries are dying at me during critical moments of the, of the event, which you cannot have happen. I mean, it just dies. It doesn't even give you any warning and all of a sudden your flash doesn't work and that's pretty catastrophic, especially as a wedding photographer and especially for somebody like me who, you know, like my tagline denotes, I believe you only have one chance to get it right. So I decided to see what was better out there and I found some Energizer Lithiums and, you know, I thought my problem was solved. I mean, the Energizer Lithiums lasted a lot longer. They weren't dying on me nearly as quickly. Uh, everything was great. And then what I noticed is I was spending a fortune. These batteries were costing me 9, 10, 11, 12 bucks for a four pack of AA's. You know, one rule of mine is I'm, I'm always going to have a backup set of batteries. So if I have one flash, just one flash, I have to have at least eight batteries, right? Because you don't want to go with no backups to a wedding. Um, and you know, I found myself at a wedding going through, if I use the flash a lot, I might go through one pack, maybe two packs of at Energizer Lithiums at a wedding. And I started doing the math and I'm like, man, that's like 20, 25 bucks a wedding. Now, if I'm doing 20, 30 weddings a year, um, you, you guys do the math, 20 weddings a year times, you know, 20 bucks, it's... Four hundred dollars, you know, two times two, and if you multiply that times engagement shoots, any of the other types of shoots that you do over the course of a year, you may not go through two packs of batteries at every shoot. I get that, but let's say I go through just a pack and a half. I don't want to use that second pack walking into that next wedding. I don't feel good about that. I want to know that I have fresh batteries. I'm good to go, locked and loaded, ready to shoot. Fast forward to me trying out rechargeables. I went and I looked around and at the time the best reviews and stuff I could find on batteries were for PowerX. And so I got some PowerX batteries. I immediately fell in love with them. I immediately saw an, a significant decrease in what I was spending. Not to mention the fact that if you do guys do care about the environment, you are throwing a ton of batteries as waste. So guys, real quick, let me explain a little bit about why I love this system and how I use it. I get one of these battery holders, like a battery brick holder. You get these off B&H for like four bucks or whatever. And uh, if the batteries are fresh and charged, I keep them tips up, like you see here, positive. And if they are discharged or they've been used 
for any length of time, um, I put them, I face them down. Then you grab the, the batteries that need to be charged and you just simply put it, you put it in the left one first and you just start putting them in and charging them. Uh, if you want to charge them more slowly, you put, you hit the soft one right here, which will s charge them in about three hours, four hours versus the hour and a half. Again, I only do the hour and hour and a half because I have so many to charge and so much to do. I just don't have the time to slow charge the batteries and I've gotten so much out of them, I haven't had a need to do so. Now you can see it's showing the, the battery gauges here, showing you what's charging and such. Most battery companies, well probably all battery companies, will tell you that charging them at a slower rate will prolong the batteries. The problem is they can't really give you any quantified time as to how much they prolong the batteries. Me personally, I don't have time for that. Uh, with the work that my crew and I do, we'll go through and I'll, I'll have two of these charges and we'll be going through, you know, 16, 20 batteries, 30 batteries, you know, after a day's work with all the mics that we use, the, the Rotolite Neos, uh, everything. Another important note to know about this battery charger and just in general is back here, you'll see this part plugs into the wall. And what you want to do is make sure that this piece is obviously plugged in but that it's not the weight's not dangling so if I take this part here and I pull it off the table and it's yanking on it like this that's going to really stress this part here and break it so just make sure to keep this part you know raised up with it so that way everything is being charged appropriately and you're not going to have any problems with your cables when battery companies rate these batteries understand a few things when they're throwing out crazy numbers like thousand you know, charges or thousand cycles or whatever, um, those are laboratory conditions. In other words, they're pretty much BS. You guys need to know that. Most batteries, when they're when you're getting that full charge, um, when they're really going right back to how they were brand new, you're talking, you know, two, three hundred times that you guys can do that. You can put these on the charger no matter what the battery life is at. And that's what me and my team do. That's what I do, it's what my team does when we're out. If we go out, I do not want to have a battery half charged. I don't. So we charge them up every time. If a battery gets used, when we get back to the hotel, back to the office, back to my home, wherever it may be, they go on the charger and get charged. Uh, there's different types of uh, rechargeable batteries, guys. There's slow discharge batteries that really retain a lot of life. And then there's uh, the regular type of rechargeable batteries that will uh, lose charge about one to 2% per day. So um, Eneloop Pros will hold about 85% of their charge up to like a year, two, three, four years or something nuts. The PowerX Pros, the reason I really love these is they'll hold 75% of that charge versus 85. Um, but what I love is they give me an extra about an extra 10% total capacity on the batteries when I use them. So I get longer duration. And to me, guys, that's what matters. Why? Guys, you don't buy batteries. So they last five years without ever being charged. If you're not using batteries more often than that, then you don't need batteries. In full disclosure, PowerX saw me using the, the, the uh, batteries in the Neos and invited me down to their office and I spoke to them just yesterday. And upon doing so, they want to sponsor me and I was happy to do so because as you guys know, if I've used a company for years and I really like them and I stand by their product before they ever approach me, then of course I'd love to work with them. But because you guys have been so loyal and you're always watching what I do and you're, you're helping me build this Fedora Nation and what we do, the first question I always ask to a sponsor is, what can you do for my followers? What can you do for my fans? So I'm thrilled to announce that just for Fedora Nation followers, we have a special on these PowerX batteries that you can't get anywhere else. It brings me great joy to do discounts and specials that benefit you guys. I remember what it's like to be watching these videos and you don't have access to companies and you see photographers, well, quote unquote, big photographers who are sponsored and they get all the goodies. And I'm like, man, that's awesome for them. I'm, I'm happy for them. I want to be them someday. But what about me, man? I'm a little guy. I mean, is there any, can you throw me a bone? Can you help me out? And so trust me, every time I get approached by these companies, I want to know how they can benefit you guys just as much as they can benefit me. Why? because we're in this together and I mean that. I fully understand that you guys watching the videos, you guys buying the stuff helps fund a lot of what we do. And so I am always going to look for ways to benefit you guys, trust me. Uh, I've done it with Rotolite. I've done it with, I'm now doing it with, with uh, PowerX. 
Um, with Sony, I've gotten them to give us free loaner gear for photo walks and workshops and stuff. I am working with my sponsors to benefit you guys just as much as it benefits me because that's what it's about. It's a team effort between you and I. And I want you guys to understand I take that seriously and I don't take you for granted. I, I really don't. I want you guys to be in this with me and I know you are and that's why I want to do everything I can to give back. Let me know what questions you guys have. I am really interested to see what questions you guys have out there and how I can help. This is the good stuff guys and I just want to make it clear. Um, this is the way to save money. This is the way to get maximum performance out of your gear and for you to go on a shoot and know you are not going to have problems with batteries because that is an absolute nightmare. And if you look at the savings that, 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 it, that you accrue over the years, it's hundreds of dollars, guys, if not more, depending on your use. Uh, PowerX is used all over Broadway, major plays. I mean, the big guys use these. The batteries are made in Japan. They're not cheap Chinese batteries, no offense, but chi the you know, batteries you get at Costco on Amazon and stuff, guys, they suck. And guys, please, if you're into any sort of photography, stop using alkalines. Stop. It's, it's a waste of money. I hope this has helped. Until next time, guys, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find out that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.